This is Duke University. Becky Dayton has tried to quit smoking before, but it's easier said than done. Now she's determined to finally kick the habit because this time around, she's got some extra help. I've been smoking way too long since high school. Um, I have two teenagers. I'm finally getting a major amount of stress left out of my life. After a while on your own, the stress will get to you without having some, you gotta have the support. You gotta have um, somebody standing there saying, I support you, I care about you, you're doing the right thing by not picking up that cigarette. That support is coming in the form of Live for Life's Quit Smart classes, a program offered through Duke that lets employees and family members covered by Duke Health Plans a way to stop smoking with group support. Dayton said that after Duke Medical Center went tobacco free in July 2007, it was time to give quitting some serious thought. They basically said, okay, you can't, no more. And now they're saying, okay, well we said you can't, but we're going to help you to that point where you're not with the Army, with, with the, the Wake County, with the schools and the whole bit, and everybody keeps saying, no, you can't smoke. But this is one of the very few, if only, programs that I've seen that is employer-supported. Play-Doh and pipe cleaners offer ways to keep busy while Quit Smart participants fill the void of holding a cigarette in their hands. But for Carmen Santiago, it's been something different that's kept her off tobacco for more than a year. Not being able to smoke at Durham Regional Hospital forced her to reconsider her habit, and a newborn grandchild made her rethink the priority of her health and those around her. So there was no smoking at home. I wasn't smoking at work. The little bit of smoking that I was doing was sort of in a rushed way. So I decided that I didn't need to smoke. And then this program came along. So I joined, uh, came for the classes. And uh, I was, uh, I want to say, motivated. because I knew there were other people trying to quit as well. Diane Dunder, a health education specialist who runs the Quit Smart classes, said one of the most important things for someone who is quitting smoking is the support of the program's group of quitters and each individual's quit team, people who can be there for help and support those trying to quit. It's a tough thing. Smoking, you know, quitting cigarettes is probably the hardest thing some people have done in their lives. And, and it, they don't feel good, they feel cranky when they're going up through it. And if they can be pampered and reminded how much people care for them, that's the role of a support team. Attending the Quit Smart classes has already paid dividends for Dayton, who said the support of Dunder and others has helped her think twice before lighting another cigarette. It's made me stop and think that I'm not just doing you know, my routine, get in the car, light a cigarette after dinner, whatever. Um, I actually stop and think, and I actually have put them down several times. Produced by the Office of Communication Services, online at hr.duke.edu.